It's Makeup Monday for EKU Men's Basketball at McBrayer Arena. The Colonels, 5-1 over their last six games, welcome in the Governors of Austin P. And APSU would come out swinging. They would lead by five with under nine minutes to play in the first half. Colonels regroup, looking for the answers, and I'm pretty sure this wasn't how it was drawn up. But McGlone's pass is going to be tipped by Freeman, right back to McGlone. Freeman runs into traffic, McGlone takes advantage, Colonels down two. McGlone feeds Jamil Powell and he drains the three ball to tie the game. Powell would finish with a dozen points and McGlone would drop five dimes. McGlone to Powell again, left side this time, money. EKU up three. Austin P looks to retake the lead, but Timmy Nip throws a block party, knocked out of bounds, Colonels ball. Powell, pump fake, invites Jalen Bab Harris into the three party and JBH attends. Austin P off the inbound and Timmy Nip adds a steal to the stat sheet. EKU would have 10 as a team and he finished strong for two of his 12. APSU looking to take the lead in the closing seconds of the half, but McGlone has a plan of his own, which includes that steal, a pass to a trailing nip and a dunk. Coach Neubauer's team goes up three at the break. The second half would feature freshman Paul Jackson. Here he is hitting Nip on the wing for the trifecta, barely moves the net. Then he dishes a no-look pass to Eric Stutz. Stutz would have a game-high 20 points. Nip turns the corner, finds Debron Muff, and he puts an exclamation point on it. Easton pulling away. Governor's looking to chip away, but Powell comes up with the rebound. Colonels would have 28 on the night. Eastern in transition, move it up to Nip. Nip a no-look pass of his own to a trailing McGlone, puts up a rainbow, finds the pot of gold. EKU up a dozen. Jackson again, fake down low, fake up top, free up Timmy Nip, buckets. Eastern working the perimeter, and PJ Zero moves it to the corner where Denzel Richardson continues to make it rain. Richardson would tally 12 points, and Paul Jackson would have a career high seven assists. APSU would make it interesting by going on an 8 0 run to trim the lead to five. Eastern would continue to go all hashtag 3KU and cruise to a 76-64 victory. Here's Denzel Richardson after the game. Definitely a good win for us. We got two more games. I mean, we definitely need to pick it up in the next two games, though. I'm definitely more confident. You know, I haven't been uh, struggling like I'm supposed to, but I've just been in the gym working, so I'm getting better. The Colonels have two games left, both at home, as they prepare for the conference tournament. EKU is back in action on Thursday when they face Jacksonville State. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.